In fact, a lot of studies show now that the fungus not only eats your skin and nail, but they eat the stuff inside your shoes. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. From the last video, we learned all about fungus, what fungus is, what environments fungus loves, who gets the fungus, and three types of fungus. In this video, I'm going to give you my favorite six home remedies for eliminating toenail fungus for good. Unfortunately, toenails grow very slowly. It takes a year to a year and a half for whole nail to fully grow. So this can be disappointing for patients to see such slow results. As always, persistence pays off at the end. The six daily routines that you're gonna to learn today to improve your toenail fungus is challenging, but extremely rewarding. So let's get right into it. So we're at the six home remedies today. And we, uh, on the last video, we talked about what fungus loves. They like dark, dirty, wet, and warm and acidic environment. This is very important because now we're gonna talk about how we can do the opposite of these things that they love. Then when they don't have something they love, they won't be around anymore. So that's how we're gonna do our home remedies. The first one is to fight the darkness. Remember the darkness? They love darkness. Fungus loves darkness. So what do we do? We shine sunlight into it. You can go out um, under the sun um, and expose your toenail for about five minutes because sun is strongest antiseptic and it just about kills everything. So it's very important for you to go out in the sun, get some sun, not only for your body, but for your toenail for about five minutes. Now somehow, like myself, I, I leave home early in the morning, there's no sun outside, and I get home really late at night because I work long hours. If you're like me, then you get a box like this, it's called the Full Spectrum Light Box. It's called Happy Light, and that's the product that I use, and you can easily order that, it's not that expensive. And then you would put this on first thing in the morning. When I, when I, as soon as I wake up, when I go to the restroom, I turn this thing on and it's shining on my toes and the rest of the body because not only it's going to be good for your toenail, but it also resets your circadian rhythm. In other words, when you put this light box on within the first 10 minutes of your waking, then you'll be able to get the deepest sleep at night. In other words, when you get the really the highest sun first thing in the morning, through your third eye right here, then what you, what's gonna happen is it's gonna give you the deepest sleep at night. So it also resets your circadian rhythm and gets you to uh, have the best sleep ever. So it's very important to get the light box, not only for your fungal toenail, but also for your health at the same time. The next remedy would be to combat the dirtiness. Fungus love dirty area. They don't like clean area. If it's clean, they have nothing to eat, so they won't come. So it's very important for you to clean your nails in a daily basis. I know you brush your teeth every day, but you're gonna use a brush like this, your old toothbrush, and, the, and then you use a soap to clean your toenail when you're in the shower. And you do it just like you're brushing your teeth. And you would go in there and all the ones that are not looking good, go all in between the toenails, the front and back and the top and around, all around the area, and you're gonna, you're gonna brush your toenails in a daily basis. Next one, would be to fight the wetness. Remember, they love wetness. They like uh, moisture. Anything that has water, they want it. They want to live there. So what do you what do? You, do? you have to dry them in a daily basis. Perfect time to do it is after you do your, <laughs> not toothbrushing, but your toenail brushing in the shower. When, as soon as you come out, you dry your hair too, but you're also going to use the hair dryer to dry between the toes, between the nails, all this area for about three minutes. When you do this, it's gonna be nice and dry so that fungus doesn't have a place to live. So it's a very important thing that you do all these three things first. We're about halfway through my favorite toenail fungus home remedies. If you've enjoyed this video so far and learned something new, leave home remedies in the comments below and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. The fourth home remedy to combat the wetness again would be to rotate shoes and change socks. Now, this is probably one of the more important ones you need to be doing. Why? Because we talked about on the last video that your fungus loves your shoes. In fact, a lot of studies show now that the fungus not only eats your skin and nail, but they eat the stuff inside your shoes, your leather and 
on all kinds of other uh, material inside the shoes, they eat that also. So they like that environment, not only uh, the wetness they like, but also they eat all the stuff in there also. So you have to rotate your shoes. In other words, you have to use different pair of shoes every day. In other words, do not wear same pair of shoes two days in a row. You, you should have a multiple shoes, especially if you are a worker outside sweating a lot, you're athletes, you have to rotate your shoes every day. And then while you're not using it, you need to get antifungal spray and spray all the shoes on a daily basis. Also, the socks are a big problem. A lot of people still think that cottons are the best socks, but it's just not true. Cottons are great at wicking the moisture, but it keeps the moisture or retain the moisture to make more fungus to live in, your, uh, uh, live in your nails and your feet. So it's important for you to change your socks into more synthetic and acrylic uh, socks. This is the only time that I'm going to recommend you to uh, uh, do some unnatural stuff. Okay, This is very important because synthetic stuff wicks the moisture and then it evaporates the moisture so that not keeping the moisture within your own foot or nail area. So it's important to rotate your shoes and change your socks. Sometimes you have to change your shoes or socks in the middle of the day because you're sweating too much and you bring an extra pair of socks, extra pair of shoes, you may have to rotate even during the same day at the same time. Next one will going barefoot. A lot of times I don't recommend people going barefoot. However, you wear some kind of sandals and you don't wear the socks because you want to air it and then you want to keep it nice and cool uh, to, to get, uh, uh, get rid of the warmth of the whole feet, which really is helpful for combating your fungus uh, uh, toenail. Next one is probably the most important one, and I saved it for the last. It's called fighting the acidity. Our skin is acidic, about 5.5 out of 7. 7 is neutral, and it's just slightly acidic. Your nails are even more acidic at 4.13. What that means is that they like, fungus loves acidic environment. They, they thrive on the acidic environment, like your skin and nail. So to combat that, we would like you to soak it daily uh, with all this material. Now, you don't have to do all of it. The most important ones are Epsom salt. You can put a little bit of vinegar and then you can put some tea tree oil, which is very strong antiseptic. And then you can even put some baking soda if you like, which is very alkalizing at the same time. The ratio is of about one cup of Epsom salt, about quarter cup of vinegar, 10 drops of tea tree oil, and about half cup of uh, baking soda. Mix it together in a large uh, tub, and then a uh, little bit on the warm side, not too hot, but definitely not cold, because you want to be comfortable and relaxing. And when you do this, it's going to alkalize the entire area, the nail and skin, to uh, make sure that fungus doesn't want to be there anymore. So a very effective way to treat this. So, so far I've reviewed six home remedies that you can try first at home to combat the toenail fungus. Be sure to like this video if you found it interesting or learned something new. And if you think someone else will enjoy it, be sure to send it to them. My next video in my toenail fungus series is about four powerful medical treatment that are very effective at curing toenail fungus. You won't want to miss it. Don't forget to follow me on my social media channels, including Instagram and Facebook, to stay updated on everything happening on my channel. Until next time, be educated, get empowered, and encourage others today.